What's up, everybody? Bassmaster Elite Series Pro Cole Sands here. This is your Tackle Tip Tuesday. This week's tip is brought to you by Diamond Baits. Oh uh, man, you talk about a company that makes some of the highest quality Alabama rigs, swim jigs, and spinner baits on the market. Um, been using them for like two or three years now and love every one of their products, man. They do not make a bad product. But this week, we're going to talk about summertime fishing, a little tip, and uh, an Alabama rig. The biggest tip is an Alabama rig isn't just for winter fishing. I throw it in the summer a lot too, especially when the fish get a little suspended or they've been getting a lot of pressure. Uh, Diamond Baits, their A rig comes in a three and a half inch, I think a four or four and a half inch, a five and a half inch. It comes in several different sizes, blade combinations. You can get blades, no blades, uh, but it comes in this really cool packaging that stores super, super easily. I love it. But so what I like to do when I'm fishing on the ledges, two things, there's a, a retrieve that's important and then the way I rig it. So this one's not rigged exactly like um, I, I would, but I already had this thing rigged up from this past winter. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of briefly explain what I like to do. So in Tennessee, we're only allowed to throw three hooks, put the three hooks in the bottom. Uh, the cool thing about this Diamond Baits uh, Alabama is the head, it's, it's not a complicated head, it, you know, it don't look like a fish or anything. And that does two things. The head is really streamlined, which helps it get down there deep and stay deep, it doesn't rise like some of the other ones that have like a fish head design. And I feel like sometimes when they, they have that fish head design on the on the head of the A-Rig, the, the bass, I feel like they swipe at it thinking that it's, you know, a shad. So I actually really like just that simple design. Uh, this is a really good A-Rig. It's got a lot of flex in it when you when you stop it and it's extremely strong, which is very important because you catch big fish on A-Rigs. But, so what I like to do when I'm fishing on the ledges, I use a diamond base jig head. This is a really cool jig head design. It came out this last winter. It gives the, the swim bait a rolling action, which is important. It definitely helps get bites. Um, that's one that you ask any swim bait fisherman, that roll is extremely important. I use Fishco swim baits. Usually what I do, I use Fishco OG swimmers or slim swimmers. And on the outside perimeter, I usually use the smaller ones, the 2.8. And then I usually put a 3.8 in the middle. Uh, like one of my favorite colors, especially in the summertime, is Blue Gizzard. Uh, that color right there is absolutely beautiful. And But the key is when you're fishing on the ledges, you want to get out there a little bit deep. So I'll use eighth ounce on the edge. Then in the middle, I'll use the big 5 16th ounce with a bigger hook. Put a little bit you know, bigger swim bait, the 3.8 inch fish go uh, swimmer in the middle. And uh, you know, let it go to the bottom. Let it go to the bottom. Reel it about halfway back and then pop it let it sink to the bottom again. A lot of the bites will come as soon as you stop it and it's sinking. And then a lot of the other bites will come as soon as you start it back up. So there's something kind of cool, something I definitely keep tied on during ledge season and throw it around a little bit. I've seen some days during ledge season, you can absolutely smoke them on an A-Rig when they, they're kind of being funky uh, to other baits. So that's definitely something to try out. As far as my rod and reel setup, I like a 7.6 heavy Shaman series Witch Doctor tackle rod, 6 4 to 1 gear ratio reel, 20 pound uh, Yozuri T7 fluorocarbon. And that's it. Throw it around on the ledges this summer. It's also a good bait around grass um, come late summer, something a lot of people don't do. But uh, that's pretty much it. I'll be sure to check it out and uh, I'll catch y'all next time.